Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at Ursula and her powers. She uses flight as her movement. And for her weapons, she uses a, a kind of a version of a brawling with her uh, melee attacks, a brawling. And then she kind of has the uh, sort of heat vision. Or her, um, well, it's called thermal, thermal blast, and thermal gaze. Right, so let's have a look at her uh, powers. First one is headbutt, knocks down damages nearby enemies. So obviously, reading by the uh, name of the power, you're going to have to be up close range. So there you go. She leaps up into the air and headbutts her opponent. And knocks them down to the floor. So quite a nice uh, power. And the animation times, uh, sorry, not well. The animation time is not not that bad either. To be honest, it's quite fast. Uh, but the cooldown is uh, pretty quick on it as well. You can maybe do a couple of other powers or combo in between, and then use that again. So that's headbutt. <laughs> then you've got jump kick, knocks down and damages nearby enemies. So obviously another one that's up close in your face power. So I don't know if you could see that there. It's the uh, kind of bubble thing come up. It's just like a jumping flying kick. So you can maybe combo that with headbutt. <laughs> like that. Uh, then you've got heat blast. Blasts a magnified heat beam to damage and knock down enemies. Inflicts burning to cause damage over time. So this one you can be you could be up close if you want to, um, or you can be uh, range. It's probably better to use it as a range power really, and it's a uh, it's a nice quite a nice power actually, because you um, it's not like heat ray or anything like that where you're stuck in a lengthy um, animation. It's just instant you know, fire like a what is that that kind of comes out? It's like a ball. Uh, but at least you get you get damage over time as well. So you get one big hit of damage and then a um, small ticks of damage over time as well. Or you can use the the sort of heat vision type thing if you wanted the thermal blast like that if you wanted. <coughs> so that's um, what power is that? Heat blast. Right, next one is swoop attack. Fly straight at your opponent, damaging and knocking it down. So this is a power like pretty much all the other uh, lantern characters and Kryptonian characters have, where you're out out far, like a range kind of this kind of distance out, not too far because it won't pull you all the way in otherwise, but you can be about that far and it will bring you right in close and knock your opponent to the ground. Um, Anyone who's used any of the Lantern characters or Kryptonian characters already will be familiar with that power anyway. Because uh, pretty much all of them have got it. So you can use it up close or you can use it from far away. But not from all the way over here sort of thing. Because it won't get you all the way there. It'll probably get you half of the way. So you need to kind of be not too new, too close. But um, not too far away either. Um, so that was Swoop Attack. The next one is uh, Freezing Breath. Unleashes a freezing blast to chill, snare, and eventually freeze your enemies. Inflicts frostbite to make enemies vulnerable to freezing effects. So this one's got quite a lengthy um, animation time, but you do get some some ticks of damage over time. Probably not a good power to be using for most of the uh, Legends PvP things, uh, but for P Legends PvE uh, content, it'll probably be pretty good power. When you stay in range and uh, you've got no one targeting you and you're not taking damage, then it's quite a good power. But for Legends PvP, you, most of the time you want to be using powers that are fast so that you can, you know, do combos with your weapons and, and then in between use, use your uh, powers. Not sort of like stuck in a quite a lengthy animation there, it's about three seconds or so. 
before you can move. Unless unless the situation's right, then it's then it's quite a good power. Um, then you've got heat vision. Uh, blast out ocular heat beams to ignite and repel your target. Inflict burning to cause damage over time. So again, another kind of lengthy animation time. Both of them powers gonna gonna be uh, quite lengthy, but at least you can do it from range, so that um, you know you're not gonna be hopefully in a situation where you'd be taking damage while you're in that kind of animation. Use it at the right kind of time really don't don't be using it when it's one on one fight as like it is here with Robin there and you start using that because if he breaks out of that then he can lunge in and start damaging you whereas you want to probably stick with if it's a one on one fight you probably want to stick with getting in close with Ursa and uh, using them first two powers which was the uh, the uh, headbutt and uh, the flying kick and just kind of using those and if you're going to use a ranged attack use that um, that thermal blast thing that I just used there so that's a uh, look at Ursa and her powers thanks for watching guys bye